and uh, welcome to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. Hi guys. We're uh, out here today at Stone Pier. Uh, Dad's already just got a knock there, so uh, we hadn't even had time to start our intro, so hopefully it'll be a really nice day. So we're at um, Harwich in Essex. So we're in Harwich in Essex, um, and this is Stone Pier, as Dylan's just mentioned. I don't know if you can just see the, the old war department up there. I think it's a Second World War, might be part of the First World War, I don't know. But um, So we've parked in old Harwich, just off to the... Oh, spin off, yeah, spin it around. Be the, we've just sort of parked over there where them white houses are. I think that's Harbour Crescent, that's called. And we've parked over there. Um, we've just had to walk up here. It's not that far, actually. I don't know how long this sort of uh, pier is, but it's... Um, About 300 yards, you reckon? I don't know, yeah. But it's uh, it's quite a good place to, to sort of, you know, come through. It's quite deep either side as well. I mean, we've been past here on our boat, and right off the very end here is a, is a hole. Um, and that's supposed to be pretty good. We'll have a little look and show you them. But yeah, we're just we're literally just set up um, and we've had a couple of knocks already. But a guy at the end there, I don't know if you can see right down the other end of the, of the pier, he's just uh, he said there's quite a lot of whiting about and we've seen quite a few seals as we've walked up here as well. So yeah, we'll give it a try. Keep getting plenty of knocks, but I'm not too sure if it's just uh, crabs or small whiting maybe. Another knock. Uh, it's definitely got a little... It's almost like the pull of a crab though, isn't it? Yeah. Something down there. Yeah, I'll really want to know. Like saying, the crab just had a feast on it. Yeah. Something small. Hey, small little whiting. Small one, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Caught him on me one that I'm uh, going to try and catch some um, flounder in there in at the moment. So just going to put a few beads on that one, give that one a try on the bottom, and uh, see how things go. But that's the uh, first one of the day, and that was caught on our lugworm that we froze, didn't we? Yeah, that's the stuff right, we yeah. froze last time, and we salted it. So. Yeah, been reusing yeah, it. Yeah, been putting them on and making some rats as well, but yeah, a little tiny one there. <laughs> it's a start. Okay, so uh, we've picked up this new thing on eBay, and it uh, apparently helps you bait up your squid and your lug or whatever you want to bait up, basically, to put onto your hook. We're going to give this a go today, basically baiting up how we did on the Walton Pier one, but um, yeah, using this tool. So we're going to uh, get our squid, lay it in there, because what you normally do is, if you've got a hook, you put your hook down there, through there, but as we're doing a penner one today, we don't need to put our hook in there originally. Just going to get our squid. And these are, as my dad says, the frozen lugworm that we froze the other day. Still just as good. If you can see that. I'm going to lay three in there today because I'm feeling uh, lucky. Get our bait elastic. Just gonna start whipping that on. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with these worms whatsoever. 
once you froze them. So it is a really good idea to freeze your worms, keep your bait, and obviously, of course, save money. There you go, and simple, if you can see on the back there, yeah, bait elastic's all on the back. All you do, slide it off. I think that's a really good tool, personally. There you've got squid and lug wrap. So I don't know if you see there guys, but uh, I got snagged up and uh, that will often happen in these rocky terrains but um, I don't know, I think you see it on film I was trying to go side to side on it Yeah, I was, I was just pulling trying to walk up and down this pier just trying to pull the snag out unfortunately I did lose that one but sometimes you can and you might often get it out, free it up just try all different angles from side to side. It's a bit easier when you're boat fishing because you can obviously turn the boat around and try from all different angles. You will often get it up boat fishing, but unfortunately, uh, when you're pier fishing, that is the way. So one thing I did forget to tell you earlier on was that the tide actually will cover this on a high water, um, especially on like uh, the highest of tides. Um, Today was a 3.72 metre. Um, we come here at high tide and we were lucky, it was literally just, just lapping it a little bit. Um, so we waited about 10 minutes, just up the other end there. Made sure that it wasn't gonna come up and over. And um, yeah, then obviously we walked up here. So just be, be careful if you do decide to come down here and start fishing. Um, you can get caught out and it's, it's a fair way back as you can see. So yeah, just be a bit careful also really slippery on here a um, lot of, lot of um, weed so again just be careful as you walk walk along here as sort of mainly cobbles sort of stone blocks that they've put in um, but yeah on a, it's nice and calm today it's actually lovely fishing here today so so Dylan's gonna carry on fishing this side I've decided I'm gonna change and Switch to the Harwich side. Um, we'll give it a go. I'm going to bait these ones back up again and see how we get on. But not having a lot of luck really. I've been snagged quite a few times down. Yeah, it's really snaggy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really rocky down the bottom there. Um, as you sort of seem to get about 10, 15 foot, and all of a sudden as you bring it in, you've got to give it a real good sort of, you know, bring it up quick because it's, it's just hitting them rocks down on the bottom there, and um, we're getting snagged. So I'm going to bait these ones up, get them back out there, and uh, we'll see what we can. Uh, See what's see what about if there's anything else about. Only that one white at the moment, but still, one nil to me. <laughs> yeah, the other one's going as well now, look. <laughs> another couple of small ones. So I'll make that free nil now. <laughs> Jiggy. <laughs> Jiggy. Give you five minutes and he'll be changing to this side, fishing this side with me, you watch. 
Right guys, uh, I've decided to move over to this side. Yeah, yeah, wonder why. <laughs> no reason at all. Just it looks more productive. Just trying to beat the old man. <laughs> <laughs> Less of that. <laughs> Yeah, you got one on there. Just seems to be a little whiting, didn't it, today? Yeah. At least it saved the blank, though. Yep, yeah, certainly did. Not a bad size, but yeah, well, a small one, yeah. Yeah, small one, but first fish for me. And these worms that we've got out of the freezer, I mean, they've they've been really good, haven't they? Yeah. You know, we've uh, we're getting some good good uh, hits on them. So we're obviously still. Uh, I mean, I, I know whiting will take pretty much anything, but you know, we've um, yeah, we've been getting we've been getting some good take. So. I think the hooks were you because I've got what size are you using, Dylan? Six O's. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm using. I've got a six O on the and then on the panel I've got a two O. But they're a bit big, aren't they? I think for the yeah, they're, they're quite are. small whiting really. And we're missing a lot of bites, but to be fair, I think I'd rather um, I'd rather it this way round than missing the bigger fish if something did come along. But well, when we first got here, there was uh, I don't know if you saw uh, earlier on there was a couple of guys fishing just as just on the on the curve there and they were fishing I don't know if you know the area you know the area but they were fishing like Dovercourt Bayside so as we came up here we thought well Dylan set up and he started to fish that side I started to fish the Harwich side and the tide was running so fast I ended up switching back to that side again with Dovercourt Bay and um, I don't know if you can see the tide has dropped probably, what's that, six, seven foot, do you reckon, Dylan? Yeah, Off the sides there now? Yeah. And the Harwich side is now the seaweed. You can see as it was sort of running out, it was running really fast, but it's just flattened off now. And since we've been fishing this side, well, we've just been getting sort of take after take, haven't we now? Yeah. So it does pay you to, you know, have a, have a change around and a bit of a swap and you know, even the baits. I mean, some of the some of the hooks I've been putting just worm on, or just a bit of squid, or both, a bit of squid and worm. You know, so it's definitely worth trying it. It's um, but it's definitely been more productive the the Harwich side, so so to speak. But um, yeah, we're going to give it a little while. How long we've we been fishing this side now? Probably 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And we've been here probably about an hour and twenty minutes, hour and a half maybe. So yeah, it's definitely paid to move. And swap over so yeah we'll probably give it another 15 20 minutes anyway and um and then we'll pack it all up and we'll, we'll head home but yeah it's been good Come to the end of our uh, fishing trip now, and um, we've had a few fish, haven't we? we yeah, haven't too bad. Few, we haven't yeah. done too bad. So we're going to pack up, head home, get a cup of tea, warm up a bit. It's a bit chilly now, yeah, and it's turning cold, a bit yeah. cold now. But yeah. um, hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a few, so we'll uh, hopefully see you on our next video. And um, stay safe as always. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers. See you next time.